Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday and welcome to the month of November. I mean, I've always loved November. I like it because it's my birth month, because of Thanksgiving, and because Christmas is right around the corner. And this is the time when kids start thinking about Christmas. But you know, something I never noticed as a kid that I've now seen as an observation as an adult is that this time of year leading into the holidays is usually a very tense and stressful season for many people. For many, it's an economic thing because finances are more tight in this season due to maybe additional travel or all the gift giving that happens. For some, it's the stress or, or the pain of remembering the holidays without a loved one. For others, it's the stress and conflict and pain of being around family that they don't get along with. And maybe you fall into one of those areas or maybe you have your own form of trigger or anger or frustration this time of year. Or maybe you're already bringing in something that leads you to anger with your job or your family, your spouse, or your situation. But let me share with you Proverbs 16, 32. It says, whoever slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit is better than he who takes a city. What we're being told here is that there's power in self-control and self-discipline for our emotions, especially our emotion of anger. And this is so true. If you ever watch a professional boxing or fighting match, the one who stays calm and cool usually prevails. In sports, the player who is mad and angry makes mistakes and his performance suffers. In our own life, when we allow ourselves to be angry, we make mistakes, we say things we shouldn't, and we hurt people with our actions. This is why Proverbs tells us this, and also why the book of James tells us to be slow to anger and slow to speak because the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. See, what's ever causing you to be stressed and angry today, let me encourage you to think on this verse, not to dismiss the difficulty you're facing and not to encourage you to emotionally shove those things aside, but to process them in a healthy way, in a productive way, and not to rush towards anger. Because if you follow the guidance of God, you will find strength and power in your ability to control your emotions more than you will if you allow yourself to become angry. So remember that he who controls his anger is more powerful than the mighty. So let me encourage you today to have a great and calm day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.